Hi guys, and welcome to uh, the first game for my tryout of the uh, Stark, uh, not Stark, Tyrell Wolf deck. Um, uh, party wants to, well, I guess I could keep this opening hand. Seems a bit of a waste to use her ability, losing her ability, but it's better than setting up Iron, losing the dupe. Obviously, don't really want to set Varus. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Up against Night's Watch Kings of Winter. So, four card setup isn't too bad. Uh, my opponent has Mulliganed. So, it's the uh, first time using out that deck, which uh, I previewed uh, in the previous video to this. Um, this being the first game, actually, should be come out basically immediately afterwards. Where uh, basically, I'm just. Ooh, wrong deck. Uh, I'm just trying out lots of decks before. Um, before kind of Nationals, Regional Season. Just kind of trying out um, what kind of the meta decks. And just to kind of get a better get a better idea of um, sort of how good they are, how to counter them, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, so we've started with time of plenty. There we go. That's what I was looking for because uh, I really wanted New Marge, and we have found her. Uh, the only thing we don't have is a way of putting a dupe on her. Uh, uh, let's play that out. That was a mistake. Because now I'm going to play this out. And draw three cards. Uh, okay, yep, could have got the Kings Red out. But instead, we do now have the Lady in Waiting. So. I've not collected gold, have I? That would help. Uh, should be six. summer plot but that counters um, winter and um, so just let my paint there yeah it should be six gold because um, you know I didn't have uh, time didn't have the summer plot out um, at the start of the turn so you know, so and how reducing her by two? Put attach her as a dupe, and let's nil this. Reduce Ari. Oop! Ah, oh, bollocks. Um, do you want me to shuffle that back in? As I assume Josie won me shuffle back in, I'll let it be his choice. That's okay, cool. Uh, bring to front, and I am done. So she gets a red marker. Don't know, mind that she has a military. So that's not a bad setup. That's kind of what we hope for here. And here comes the milk immediately. <laughs> oh, Craven. Okay, that's not. That's not bad. Okay, could be worse. Um. So, don't want to do any challenges. Um, he's actually got a pretty good setup here because so he's got the Messenger Haven for um, draw. He's got Sam Tali for draw as well, if he wants to. He's got quite a lot of intrigue icons. Unfortunately, he's not that much I really care about in hand at the moment. Um, don't want to pick him for an intrigue. Uh, he's probably just going to stealth past anyway. There's a lot of stuff. Let's, let's give it a go. Do an intrigue. 
I was gonna say, I've, I'm discarding cards anyway because my reserve is only only six, and I've got eight cards in hand, so not that worried. Maybe wins an intrigue back. So this is obviously where Renny's Pavilion is absolutely brilliant because it just messes around the challenge maps. Okay. So um, no reaction as to winning, unfortunately. And oh, discards Mance Raider. Ooh. In bad pool. Okay, what's his reserve for this? Uh, his reserve is five. Okay. So he's still discarding a card as well. Um, I think I'm going to be done there because obviously Marge can't attack and I kind of want the stealth just to stop any shenanigans maybe? I'm not sure. So I'll just, I'm just done. See what happens. So there's no point in the military. He'll just kneel with... It just defends with um, Eamon. Well, just don't kneel with someone. Sorry, he just saves someone with Eamon. So yeah, big intrigue. Yeah. Unopposed. So next time I can get Septimordine out and give her an intrigue icon. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, my Dom. My Dom. I've got to get rid of one card. What am I going to get rid of? Hmm. Might actually be set to Mordine. Oh, she's going to be quite good. Oh, I'm um, going to play trading to get him out. So him with that, play that next turn seems pretty strong. I've got two ladies out, so I can't really give, keep all men of fools out, especially as both the ladies got dupes. Um, yeah, I think I'll be Scepter. He just got a Northern Refugee, a Messenger Raven, and a Rattle Shirts. What's he played? Um, right, let's. How, how do I actually. It's. Um, right. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's one of the problems where um, this plot I've played a lot of winter on here. Snowed under is not uh, automated for some reason. So if he thinks I've won it, um, we are tied. So um, is there a random? Um, do, 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 coin dice, um, heads or tails for four. Not of. Heads. Your choice. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so it's one of the things. There are ways around it, obviously. So um, don't worry about it too much. So let's play the pleasure barge. One, two, three. Awesome! I now have a lord to kill. Um, right, let's think about playing this out this turn. So um, they're five. Give it. A I have lots of ladies. Um, I have lots of ladies to choose from. Let me have a think. So now if I play out the King's Road. 
I think I don't actually play out the king. I think I'll leave Remley in hand for now. Because I'm probably going to put on Randall anyway. That was as in before this turn. That's silly. But I think I've got the pieces I need. So let's do that. Uh, reduce by one. Let's put her out. Let's put that on you. Bring to front. Oh, she should be out. Uh, leaves me four gold, so I could play out a King's Road and sit on three gold, and that leaves me two, four, six cards in hand. So hopefully be able to um, do I put him out actually? I could bodyguard him. I've so I killed the king, so if I put him out, nil him. Uh, that gives me five, six, and then I can't put the bodyguard on him now. Um, and also, I think that would give me too much to say with the wildfire because I want to save those three of the wildfire. So let's just play out the King's Road and say I'm done. Bit of a waste of trading as I've given up free gold and I could have got a similar effect to another card. But. Um, yeah, the problem is next turn I'm going to be on minus three gold, <laughs> which is going to be annoying. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. What's he got coming? Ooh, core and half hand, but he's only against non uniques, isn't he? Yeah, so at the moment, ooh, crust egg, okay, that's. Not actually that annoying for me. Yeah, that's actually fine. He thinks I'm going to Valor. Ha ha. Uh, no pre challenge. I mean, if I'm looking pretty like I'm setting up for a Valor. Okay, so. How do I do this? So he's only. Oh, he's only got one. <laughs> Let's do a power challenge. He only has one power icon. Unopposed. Okay. Do. Um. I think I'm done, aren't I? Because I want to kind of leave Marge standing for the intrigue. So I got both of them for the intrigue. Um, yeah. No point doing a military. He might be better off doing them, depending on that military, with current, uh, sorry, power or current half hand because. Um, if he attacks me, all he's doing is triggering my ability. So we've got an intrigue, stuffing marge, I'm guessing. Yeah. So. Um, oop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> is he sure? You sure? Oh, you. Neil Zayman, sure. Oh, so I was good. Figured, and that's the thing. That's why I love Pavilion so much. Um, yes, I've got Pavilion. So um, um, yeah, it just messed up the challenge match because you can't just rely on winning by a draw. What do I lose? Don't be Rand Randall. Yeah, yeah, she's all right. Uh, sure. Because um, I'm losing a card in this turn anyway, so I might as well. Um, I'm going to be interested to see what he does here. Let's 
so you can give him stealth. Okay. So it's probably going to be a power challenge. Um, sure. Power stuff and large. Yep. So I can defend four, three, five, for three. I can make him a four. So it's only military challenges. Yeah. Uh, opposed. Okay. Yeah, sure. So it's a bit slow, and imagine this deck would work, but that Craven is kind of um, annoying me. And what am I going to get rid of? Oof. Probably him. As much as I hate to say this. Because I'm going to need these in a minute. So let's try the wildfire. These are your Valors, and it really annoys me. Well, actually, Valor wouldn't annoy me too much. Because this is the thing, sacrifice into all characters in the dead pilot's phase into face. What's he gone for? Okay. I'm gonna let him go first. Oh, I've got my power for Sansa standing. Bloody hell, never mind. So I'm gonna save these three. Oh god, all the ladies. Where is he? Oh, do I go for Fast Eddie actually? No, no, I go for Randall. Okay. Uh, draw. Okay. So another winter plot. So I'm only lit I've literally got one gold this turn, but I don't. I'm actually all right because of the other bits I've got. Randall can do a lot of work. He's not sacrificing Craster to um to keep his board state up. White tree. Ugh. Oh, okay, that's annoying. Oh no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure that was a mistake playing out the two crowns there. Um, kind of figured it was worthwhile because I'm going to lose one anyway, but obviously I could also use the crown to stand him. But I've also got Renny's Pavilion to stand him, so eh, just stops him being confiscated. But Night's Watch doesn't tend to play confiscation, so much on muchness, I think. The big thing here is he's only got one power icon, so that's going to keep on hurting him. He hasn't got any stealthing me now. Hmm. I think I've. I think I'm in a strong position here. Because um, if he, because I can stealth pass with the power, he can't stealth me. So Randall and Marge stop a penny power charge coming towards me. Um, I've got no. Yeah, I think that's the right choice for him. I've got no way. No. 
Right, so this is going to be a power. Doesn't really matter who I target with that. Gives her plus one strength. So win by five. Nice. <laughs> Two, three. Uh, unopposed and claim. And done. So, uh, yeah, he wins dominance. End turn. So he's got the choke on, but I've just got. Um, I'm just in a really strong position now. I think I'll pay confiscation to get rid of the craven. Because um, I want eight power. And then next time I play Clash of Kings. Winter Festival. So I'm going to let him be first player again. Um. Okay, what do we draw into? Nice flowers and superior claim. Nice. So this could be all she wrote this turn. I think this this deck works. I think this deck works really well against the choke. Oh, Mance. Okay, that could be annoying. He doesn't get stealth or anything, does he? No. Uh, this game work. This work deck works really against, well against this um, choke because. Um, um, Marge basically is a money maker. Um, that's not actually. Uh, yeah, I can't quite get the night flowers out. I need one more goal to get the night flowers out. Uh, I don't really want to burn a king's raid on him, so I think I just say done. Unfortunately. Oh, I forgot the power off Sansa again. God damn it, that's two now. <laughs> damn it. Ah, oh, triggers. <laughs> Numpty. Oh. Right. Can he actually do anything now? Because he has now got 10 strength. But Randall can get to 10 by himself, and then I can reduce one of them down. So he actually can't guarantee winning a. Oh, actually, I've always got Marge. So between the two of them. Oh, there's an intrigue of. That's interesting. So we've got an intrigue of four. Okay. So I'm going to defend with Marge. Um, action. To give her plus one strength, which puts her on six, which means I win. So then I will reduce his strength. I win. Yeah, cool. Yeesh. So puts me on to nine. Almost there. Almost there now. So he can now get to nine straight. Oh, no, actually, that was that. Oh, so yeah, I should let him win the power. I'm going to. Oh, no, that was a mistake, actually. Potentially. Is this only on attack or is this on defense as well? No, it's on defense. Oh, okay. So I could fully defend. He's in strength, so he can get to nine now. I can be. Oh, okay, he's passing. Okay, so we do an intrigue. 
the sensor. He's got two cars on hand, so he will want, likes either of them. He'll defend, probably try and defend a Mance. Nope, okay, so we're going with Eamon. Okay, okay. I win. Uh, Iron Frame, oh, okay, not particularly great. So then we do. Oh, no, keep all of that. Power stealthing him. So he can now defend. So I'd have to use two cards to win it, but then I could play Spear Reclaim. So five to seven. Okay. Um, action. Second action. Giving him one, two, three, four. Four extra strength. Um, win by five. <laughs> um, oh, wait, no one. And then renowned. Okay. Challenge highlight military. So to go for the military, Santa stands win the game. Because <laughs> I'm finally going to remember the Santa trigger. Okay, I win. Yep. Sure. Done. I win dominance. I win dominance. Uh, you. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I don't see. You're saying I win dominance. I don't quite understand how. But it doesn't matter. Um, because. End. <laughs> Good game. So there we go, guys. That's the first game of this deck. It worked pretty much as I hoped it would. Um, um, and yeah, it wasn't being for, forgot. Um, I haven't forgotten her stand power for uh, two turns in a row. I'd have won a bit sooner. But there we go. That's uh, that's the first game. So I'm so actually so far, I'm pretty pretty impressed with March. Um, I say even with the choke it kind of works so that was kind of a good experiment the first thing so uh, yeah um, there'll be another one soon but until next time 